time for a Unity tutorial. This one's going to be a bit more advanced, so if you haven't watched my other tutorials on prefabs, um, variables, scripts, uh, tags, things like that, basics of Unity, if you don't know that stuff yet, you might want to go and, and look at those things before you uh, check out this tutorial. So what I'm going to show you here is, okay, here's a little bat character, and um, he was never meant to be seen this close up, that's why the textures are a bit kind of... Uh, cheesy, but anyway, as you can see, he has a little red health bar. It shows how many hit points this character has. Uh, if you were to see uh, <clears throat> in a game like um, StarCraft, for example, uh, RTS game, where you have a health bar that falls along with the object and shows you a display of how many hit points the character has, then uh, this kind of uh, tutorial would be for you. Uh, so that I'm going to show you exactly how to do something like that. How to create a health bar and the script that you would need to... Um, have the health bar reflect the amount of hit points that a uh, uh, character has. Okay, so let's see how we did this. All right. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and create a um, an object to attach our health bar script to. So we'll just create a cube. Okay, we'll move him into place. Okay, I'll we'll click on the camera and see where. Okay. I'll just move the camera over here a little bit. This this tutorial is a bit more advanced, so I may have to, in fact, split up into two pieces. Okay, so now we have a cube, and uh, we're going to have to... Let's go ahead and create a, a health bar for this uh, script to attach this cube. Okay, I already have a script here. I'm calling it a health bar test script. I'm just going to drag it onto that cube there. And uh, we're going to take a look at this in a second, all right? Uh, this may look a little bit... Um, complex, but we'll go through it line by line, and uh, I, I can't really put the script in the show notes because YouTube has a set number of characters, but if you just go ahead and pause this in HD, you should be able to see uh, the script very uh, cleanly and be able to just copy it down, all right? I'll put it up uh, later on, you'll be able to, to get a good look at it. But uh, before we do this, uh, let's go into creating the actual health bar object, okay? We're going to need to create a object, um, a health bar object. So let's go, I already have one down here uh, in my prefab section. And the health bar object is very easy to create actually. You just go into game object, create other, uh, GUI texture. Okay, when you do that, you'll see this Unity watermark thing here. And all you have to do is replace this Unity watermark texture with uh, a texture of your own. So in this case, I have different colored like uh, swatches. I just created a little green swatch. I'll just drag it onto there. Okay, you'll see it update. And I set the pixel insets to 0, X, 0, Y, and I guess you can do, um, uh, it doesn't matter, uh, 128, for example. Um, let's see, 64, I think, was the one that I had. Uh, I forgot. So anyway... Um, uh, 0x, 0y, uh, the width set to the maximum width that this health bar is ever going to be, height set to the maximum height this uh, health bar is ever going to be, and finally um, I gave it a, a tag, in this case I'm calling it health bar, uh, if you haven't seen the thing on, on tags and how to use them and prefabs and how to use those, you really need to know how to do that first. And then I could just create a prefab out of this, okay? by uh, you know creating an empty prefab and dragging and dropping that onto there. But in this case, I already have a prefab for the health bar here. Let me go ahead and find it. There it is. Health bar. Okay, in this case, I had a width of 128 and a height of 64. It doesn't matter. You can make it whatever you want. Just make sure that the pixel insets X and Y are set to 0, and the borders are set to 0. Okay, um, I already have the script attached to it, the My Health Bar uh, test script. So let's go through this and look at the things we need line by line. Okay, there's several variables here. Uh, first is uh, HP, which represents the health or hit points of the object, and the max HP, re which represents the maximum amount of hit points the object is going to have. They must be float float objects, okay? Types of float. Uh, if it's integer, it won't work correctly. Uh, the next variable is the health bar width, which is going to be used to grow and shrink the, the uh, GUI texture uh, object that we just created. That can be set to a type integer. Uh, the next thing we need is an, uh, a pointer 
to which is in this case called my health bar type of game object and it is the pointer to this original prefab the next uh, variable uh, I'm calling it my HB type of game object and it is the um, instance of the my health bar prefab that we're going to create All right so we before we go any further I need to actually uh, drag that prefab health bar onto the my health bar uh, variable populate that okay and uh, the other thing is I'm gonna purposely leave blank for the time being alright so when we first start up the game and when this object is first created we're gonna need to uh, start up these variables so for example I'm gonna give the my health bar width variable uh, width of 20 in this case you could make it whatever you want basically and then I'm gonna create the instance of the my health bar uh, prefab by saying my HB equals instantiate my health bar and uh, transform position and transform rotation is inherited from the object the script is attached to. Alright, so now we've got the health bar created. Next thing we need to do is in the update function we need to track the position so that we can have this uh, health bar follow along with our character and this is the code that does that. So basically you can just go ahead and uh, copy this down verbatim all right and you can see we're transforming this my HB object here okay just go ahead and copy that down all right as you can see I add like a little offset to this the position dot X and the position dot Y I'm giving it a slight offset I'm just moving its transform position a little bit so that it's not directly in the center of the object so if it if you run the script and it doesn't look good to you you could change these to a different uh, number of pixels <clears throat> okay, the next set of code uh, determines the percentage of health that we have remaining in the object, uh, in the script, okay? So health percent, variable health percent, type float, equals HP divided by max HP. All right, that should be pretty self-explanatory. <clears throat> what that does just gives us the percentage of health that we have left. Uh, the final thing is uh, I want to make sure that the health percent can never go below zero, uh, if you have a negative uh, health percent, then the drawing function is going to uh, give you unpredictable results. Also, if you go over 100%, you also get unpredictable results. So we just make sure that the health percent never goes below 0 or above 100. And then finally, we just say health bar width variable equals health percent times 20 in this case. The health percent is going to be a, <coughs> a uh, point something so example uh, health percent of 1 would mean that we have 100 percent health health percent of 0.5 for example would be 5 percent you know 50 percent health so we just need to uh, multiply by 20 to get it to something that would look better in pixels then finally we're going to set the uh, stretch out that um, GUI texture to um, <clears throat> to have a width and uh, height that uh, represents how much health that we have. So we'll say that the my HB uh, object inst instance that we created, we're just going to set its pixel inset to a rectangle and then we're going to give that rectangle, as you can see here, uh, here's for example the values that I used. <clears throat> the only thing that changes from the script is the health bar width. Okay, and if you don't get the desired results from these, you could for example change the uh, X and Y uh, values or the uh, height value here and if it doesn't look the way you want it to you can just change those. The health bar width is the only thing that really shrinks the um, scale of the health bar there. Okay so let's run this and see what it looks like. Oh wow we didn't get any health bar. I wonder why that is. Oh you know what? We don't have any HP uh, set for this guy. He has zero hit points so in fact it was working it's just that there's no hit points for this guy. So let's give him <clears throat> 100 hit points and we'll give him a max hit points of 100. Again, the max hit points has to be the max amount of hit points this guy can ever have. And the, H the HP can never go above that. If it does, you're going to get un unpredictable results. So let's run it again. And now you can see the little green health bar there. Okay, let's make sure that this uh, script is working. Let's let's drop his his uh, HP a little bit. Uh, let's give him like 25 HP, and 
let's run it again. So now you can see the health bar has in fact shrunk to denote that we have less uh, hit points than we did before. So that's how it works basically. Um, as, as an overview, create a um, GUI texture. All right. Set the pixel insets to these kind of values. Okay. Give it the texture that you want. Uh, create a script that looks like this. Okay. You can just go ahead and pause the video and check it out. All right. And drag that script onto your object. And then populate the my health bar uh, variable with by dragging in the prefab of your health bar. Uh, don't forget to set the HP in, and the max HP. Don't ever set the HP above the max HP. And uh, that's pretty much it. And then you can go ahead and play with the other variables and get the health bar to be in the position that you want it to be in. And that should do it for you, I hope. So let me know if that works out for you.